All right, Shalom. This is the Brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Call Loyam Labanawa Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arakal Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. Peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Bayath, Dawada, the house of David. All right, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to go to uh, 2 John. The first chapter and the second verse because it's only one chapter anyway and uh this is what it reads it says for the first it says for the truth for the truth's sake right which we hold the bible which dwelleth in us which is dwelleth in us the, the, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets all right first corinthians 14 and 32 it says and shall be with us forever right which shall be with us forever and here we have it right here today where the prophets are out here speaking on the highways and byways and our people don't want to listen to us, man. They don't want to hear the truth. Okay, they don't want to hear the truth for as it is said, right? Let's go to it. Uh, let's go to it. Let's, let's get out of this real quick. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. See, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. And they are lost. You see? You see what I'm saying? So let's go here real quick in the Hebrews, real quick. Get you some more scriptures. Hebrews 4. And uh, Hebrews 4 and... Uh, verse 2, we'll start at. It says, for unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them... But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in, faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said. Right, that's as who said, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Shai. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works which were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place the, sir, the seventh day on this wise, and the Most High did rest the seventh day from all his works. All right, you see, so most definitely the two thirds of Israel, they're going to have to die on this side, man. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to, they don't want to understand the truth. Okay, they shun the truth away. All right, they're going to have to go through the second death here which is by thermonuclear missiles and by the, the ultimate laser beams coming out of the chariots when Yahweh Shai come back with all the with all the host of the holy angels, man. The army of the holy angels, man. Okay? So they're going to have to get that ultimate destruction, man. Okay? But ultimately, they'll be back in the kingdom with their lob right, man. Okay? With their inward parts filled with nothing but righteousness, man. Nothing but understanding the truth. You see, because right now they're all di they're all dismal. Uh, uh, how can I say it? Uh, out of order. Let's just say that out of order. Okay. They are docile. Okay. Let's put it that way. All right. So let's go into another scripture. What is it? Uh, Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Yeah, here, Second Thessalonians. Uh, here it is, Second Thessalonians 2. And, uh, uh, and, uh, I'll start at verse 9. It says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, right? Esau. All right, so-called white man, Esau, Edom. It says, with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth. Right, and two-thirds of our people received not the love of the truth. They don't, want to, they don't want the truth. They hate the truth. It says that they might be saved, right, that they might be saved. And for this cause, the Most High have sent them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And that's what they that's what they do. They believe the lies and the philosophies of this society, the philosophies that the so-called white man is kicking in their ear, man. OK, when we kicking something righteous to him, they don't want to hear it. But when the, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, kicks something to him, it sounds very uh, it sounds. How can you say good to them, man? OK, 
sounds pleasurable to the ear. Okay. All right, it says right here, verse 12, it says that they might be uh, damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. All right. Okay. You see, so hey, man, there you have it right there. All right, so let's go back to Second John, the first chapter, and uh, the scripture right here. Second verse cross references. So this is uh read it again. Uh second John chapter one and verse two it says, For the truth's sake which dwelleth in us and shall be with us forever. Some uh precepts, uh first Corinthians nine and twenty three, and it says, In this I do the gospel in this I do for the gospel's sake, that I may be partaker thereof with you. All right, Second Corinthians four and five it says, For we preach not uh, for we preach not ourselves but the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. Right, and that's what we are. We're servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay, and we're preaching this truth out here. Okay, try to wake up our people, but they don't want to wake up. Only the elect is going to wake up. Only the 144,000 is going to wake up, man. Okay, this is John 15 and 7. It says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Uh, Colossians 3 and 16, it says, Let the word of the most uh, the Hamashiach dwell in you richly, right? In all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts, meaning your minds, to the Lord, man. Okay? And that's what we do. Spiritual songs and hymns. Okay? When we go on on the highways and byways, these these... This this book is a spiritual song, man. The Bible is a spiritual song, and it's being sung by the prophets. All right, and only the ones who can hear that song, hear that song playing, they'll come to the song and they'll dance to it. Okay, meaning they'll listen to it, meaning they'll sit there and they'll take heave to it, and they'll actually get into it. Okay, and that's the elect. Second Timothy one and five it says, "When I call to remembrance the unfringed faith." That is in thee, which dwelleth first in thy grandmother, grandmother Lois, and thy mother Ennis, and I am persuaded that in thee also. First Peter 1, 23 to 25, it says, being born again, right, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of the Most High, which liveth and abideth forever, for all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of men as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof fa uh, faileth away. Falleth away. It says, but the word of the Lord endureth forever. Right? The word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. All right, 1 John 2, uh, 1 John 2, 14 and 17. It says, I have written unto you, uh, unto you fathers, because ye have not, ye have known him, that is from the beginning, I have written unto you young men because ye are strong and the word of the most high abideth in you and ye have overcome the wicked one, right? The wicked one is who? Esau, Edom, all right? There's also a spiritual demon, Satan, which he works with, which is Esau, Edom, all right? It says, and the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that dwelleth, he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever, right? He that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. Right? Okay? So you know with that, brothers, I'm gonna give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of Well, peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for the elect, the Bayas, Dawada, the house of David. Stay strong, brothers. We almost out of this out of this place, man. Alright? This place is this place is falling, man. Babylon is falling. Alright, Babylon is falling, brothers. Stay strong, stay prayed up. All right, and continue to push this word. All right, in sincerity and truth, Shalom, Abad Babal.